Alrighty guys, here we are. Uh, haven't made a video in a while, but you know, might as well make one now. I ordered something on Amazon, thought you guys would be interested. Alright, so here we go. A lot of you guys get a new iPhone 7s now. You know, you won't have the headphone jack. Things like this won't work anymore. Regular headphones won't work anymore. Yeah, I got a nice pair of uh, I got a nice pair of Sony's here. Won't work anymore. You know, it kind of blows. You know, everything else is an iPhone jack. You know, my Xbox controller, freaking computer, laptop, other phones. You know, they all have headphone jacks. But you know, it's whatever. You know, I'm gonna be getting one just because this is a six. It's starting to get a little slow. A seven will be a big speed bump. It'll be nice. You know, so. To combat that, I got myself a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. So here we got the Nectech wireless sport headset, model NK565S. That's, you know, a pretty standard model that you could find on like Amazon, anything like that. Uh, pretty much your run of the mill Bluetooth headset that you're gonna find. You know, whether you want earbuds, you know, headphones, anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it off. Got it on Amazon up there. Uh, they're $29.99. I got it for $19.99 though with a deal from BGR. But that ends today on the 6th. So 30 bucks, still not too bad. We're gonna decide that right now. The NK565S, nectech.com. You just get them on Amazon. So we're gonna read off what they got here. Standard Bluetooth 4.1 plus EDR and A2DP support. Yeah, 4.1 special because it means you can have two devices on at once. So I can connect it to this phone and my friends. Okay. Uh, lightweight design, ultra comfortable. These are pretty much going to be like any other Bluetooth pair you get in terms of weight and stuff. Whether it's the cheapest one or like the Job on Freedoms or something, they're going to be nice, light, not going to be too big of a nuisance. High clarity sound with the CVC noise cancellation technology. Basically, it's going to show you um, sound cancellation when you're on like a train, bus, car ride, anything like that. Headset battery meter on iOS. So what that means is on your battery up here, by Bluetooth, it's gonna show a little battery thing. And if you swipe down notification center, it'll be a battery thing up here. that will show you the battery life on the headphones. Okay, that's about it. So like it says here, also connects to two devices at the same time, thanks to Bluetooth 4.1. Uh, there's a QR code scan if you want, nectech.com, made in China, there's the Amazon code, and that's about it. It's a pretty plain box. So according to Amazon, they've got about six hours of talk time, 106 hours of standby with a single charge. I'm going to guess it's like two, maybe three hours to charge, works with pretty much anything. And they're also magnetic, so they're going to connect, I'll just, no, I'll stop talking, I'll just show you. Let's get a knife here. Okay, Neck Tech branding, nothing on the back. Got your micro USB, you know, everybody's got a bunch of these. These are your uh, extra tips and the, uh, the wings or the ear like pieces. In here, I'm guessing you got the headphones themselves. Let's go ahead and open this. Yep, in there and there. Nothing else in there. Uh, a little piece of cardboard. That's whatever. All right, attention. Sign up for a six month warranty extension. Oh, I'll be sure to do that, okay. User's manual and headset wireless, or wireless headset, okay. Usual books, you know, nobody reads these unless you really have to. All about warranty, how to use it, the lady indicator, you know, whatever. Cool shit. Alright, uh, move this over to the side. Let's go ahead and get these out of here. Comes with a little headset clip, too. Okay. the USB cable, standard micro, run-of-the-mill, yeah. and your headphones themselves have some wingtips already on there, so that's cool. 
it up. Let's All right, here you go. Go ahead and zoom out. I'm about zoomed out as it will be. Pretty standard length. You know, uh, I think I got a ruler over here actually. I do. That's good. Okay. Go ahead and measure in inches. It's about say about 16, 16 inches. So a little under a foot and a half. That's pretty good. Magnetic part I was talking about. See, got the two ends here. There you go. It's not too strong. You know, just enough to keep them held together. All right. So here we got. Uh, it says DC in. Go ahead and open that up. And you can go ahead and plug this micro USB in. There you go. Get the idea. Go ahead and put that back on. Okay. A little thick there, but that's you know expected. All right, neck tech branding, little microphone there. Volume up, play pause, and LED indicator as well as volume down. All right, so to turn them on. I'm guessing. What's this? Oh, a little clip. All right, good, because I was not going to be using this. Whew. All right, I'm guessing to turn them on, you just hold. Play. Yep, blue light and pairing mode. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head over to my iPhone. Go to settings, Bluetooth should be down here. Okay, does not show anything. Go ahead and turn them off. Oh, there you go, pairing, so red and blue. All right, NK565S. All right, go ahead and put them on, just as a, an example. Oh, look, you even got left and right. All right, so put them in. Okay, they're in my lugs. Let's go ahead and go home. Spotify, go ahead and pick a song here. All right, too much sauce, TJ Eskel, let's go. Okay. Sound okay. No big noticeable difference from my headphones, besides the fact I had to turn it up kind of high. It's more direct in my ear because I usually wear ear pods. Let's go to let's play a a rap caviar. Shuffle that. They sound fine to me. Every song sounds exactly how they usually sound on your, uh, you know, either on a headphone or, you know, a speaker. I've got another Bluetooth speaker here I use quite a bit. But, you know, they sound fine for what they are. If you look there, there's the power level next to your battery or Bluetooth indicator. And if you go here, notification center, batteries, iPhone, and the NK565S. 
All right, but yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I think you can invoke Siri too. Let me, if I'm not wrong, let me go ahead and put it back on. The volume control works just how I would think it would. Let me check. Actually, no. Wait. Okay, you gotta keep pressing them. And if you hold, it skips. Okay. Hold this. Siri. Hey Siri, uh, what's the Patriots score? Alright, let's not remind myself about that. I'm going to turn them off. I want to guess. You just uh, check this out. Answer a call. Music, next track, previous track. Alright, turn it off. Press and hold multi-function button in three seconds. Okay. So yeah, you know, these are pretty standard. You know, they're normal. Just your all right pair of Bluetooth headphones. You know, I just needed a pair because, you know, I knew I was going to get an iPhone 7. I knew I was going to get one and, you know, might as well have one on deck. All right. So pretty basic video, nothing too big, and I just wanted to get it out here for you guys. So go ahead, you know, if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. It's, you know, I'm sorry I haven't been making that much content. You know, senior year is starting to get a little heavy. Uh, go ahead and comment if there's anything in particular you want to see. Maybe more tech reviews when I get anything or anything in particular. Or more of those little movies I like to make for you guys. But yeah, go ahead, leave a comment below, say what you like. Uh, subscribe if you like what's coming out so far. It's not much, but you know, more's coming. All right? Thanks, guys. Later.